to another video welcome back to the channel i am christina lynn and as you can tell by the title we are going to be doing some chicken salad today welcome back to another episode of vlog it's not vlogmas it's what is it vlogtober I'm, I'm gonna get it together okay i'm gonna get it together vlogtober day two we are on a roll day two i'm gonna show you all all of the ingredients that i am gonna use actually went on instacart this morning and purchased everything I needed. I kind of had some stuff already here, like mayonnaise, mustard. I had relish already, onions, some stuff I already had that. But yeah, anyway, y'all tag along for the ride. Also, I will be shouting you out. So if you want me to shout you out, all you have to do is leave a comment below. Um, say, hey girl, hey, or something. It don't even matter. Just put a comment below and I will make sure to shout you out on tomorrow's video so really quick before we jump into making our chicken salad i kind of wanted to show you all what i picked up from instacart this morning kind of normally i start shopping on sundays for the week and i'm trying to do a little bit better about planning our meals out haven't had the best time doing that but i am trying i try to uh, shop on sundays and y'all let me know do y'all try to uh, shop on sundays what works best for you or do you go throughout the week let me know in the comments uh, what works good for you and your family. But just picked up some mustard greens. I had some chicken. I'm going to do baked chicken. Picked up some seasoning, adobo, the roasted garlic and herb Weber seasoning, which is really, really good. Some Kool-Aid jammers for Noah. I did some rotisserie, uh, rotisserie chicken for the chicken salad. I also did this Greek salad from Sam's. Some chicken fry for the wings that I'm going to fry as well. Not really sure when, but it, it'll be on the menu for the week. Some Lunchables, and I'm also going to put these smoked turkey wings in my greens. But yeah, so let's get started making our chicken salad. I'm going to put grapes in mine, apples, as well as sweet relish, dill relish, mayonnaise, mustard, I was going to use a little bit of that brown sugar, but I decided not to because I don't want to add the sugar into it. The relish is already sweet enough, so that should do just fine. I'm going to put some celery in there. Also, I'm going to put uh, a couple of ball eggs in there. All right, guys. It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it you could be one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door locked I like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list of the things 
hope y'all can see, but I'm having a hard time with this tripod. But um, these are the ingredients that I'm gonna put in. Um, here is a chicken salad. I have everything in there, the red onion, the bell peppers, the grapes, the apples, as well as the celery and the chicken. That is deboned and we are ready to put our ingredients in really, really quick. So we'll start off with a little bit of mayonnaise. I'm using Hellman's. You can use whatever kind of mayonnaise you want. I prefer Hellman's. I know you can use salad dressing. Not really sure which one of them is healthier. I, matter of fact, I think they do have a healthier version of mayo, but we don't need, we're gonna use this today, okay? So I'm gonna put a little bit of mayo in there. leave it at that for now. If I need to add more, I will. Mustard. We normally do Frenchies, but I really can't tell the difference between the two. We're going to go in with a little bit of dill relish. Just a little bit of it. Because it is kind of sour. And we want more of a sweet, more than anything. We're gonna go in with our sweet relish. If I need to add more, I will. I'm gonna put a little bit of cayenne pepper in there just to give it a little kick. You don't have to. I'm glad I opened, I looked at that. Look at that, y'all. You don't even have one of those little strainers on there. I'm gonna go in with some Lowry seasoning salt. Just a little bit of that. Because keep in mind the rotisserie chicken is already seasoned, so you really don't have to use that much. Also, a little bit of garlic powder. Not a whole lot. And I'll probably put a little bit of the roasted garlic and herb, the Weber. This is really, really good. Sam's has it. I'm sure Walmart and H-E-B uh, Kroger, I'm sure they carry it as well. We're just gonna go in with a little bit of that just to kick it up a notch. Just a little bit of that. And then we're gonna go in with a little bit of pepper. I'm using McCormick's black pepper. And then, last but not least, like I mentioned, I'm gonna put eggs in mine. I'm gonna use eggs, I have three. And I'm gonna show y'all a trick. I used to cut my eggs up completely, like in, in chops, like chop it up. But Soulful Tea, which is another YouTuber, the way that she crumbled her eggs, and you all let me know, is this how you do yours? Cause I've cut mine as long as I've been cooking. I have cut mine with a knife. But that goes to show you there's always a way that you can improve something. And it's so time consuming. It saves so much time to be able to just do this method versus chopping them up with a knife. Y'all, some of the little simplest things can just really amaze you, right? Go in with our egg like this here, right? You just ball it up. <laughs> you literally just ball it up, guys, in your hand. Can you believe that? That's how simple it is. Ball it up. <laughs> when I tell y'all, 
That saved about 10 minutes right there from chopping up that egg. 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> One more. <laughs> and you just ball it up. And when I tell you it just dissolves literally, bam. Bam. <laughs> That's it. All right, so let's go ahead and get this stirred up real quick. I'm going to get a bigger spoon. Like, this is ridiculous. This little bitty spoon is what I got. But let's go ahead and get it stirred up. If we need to add more of something, we will. And it looks like we'll probably need a little bit more mayo. But so far, that's how it looks. And I'm probably going to add a little bit more onion in there. Oh, yeah. We're going to need a little bit more mayonnaise. All right, so I added some more mayo and a few more onions in there. So we're just gonna get this stirred up. Now keep in mind, you can always add more of whatever it is that you're needing, but you can never take it away. So make sure you're consistent with the amount of whatever it is that you're putting in there. Because once it's in there, it's in there. And that goes for the seasoning as well. So you can always add to, but you can't take away from. And if y'all hear the game on in the background, the Texans were playing. I don't know who's playing now, but it's Sunday, October the 2nd. So football going on all day. Oh my God, it looks so good, y'all. Let's go and test out this chicken salad, okay? Because I'm anxious to see what it come out like. So I said, you know what, I may as well just sit here and eat a little bit and chit chat with y'all. Uh, I'm gonna get all of this stuff cleaned up. Mm, mm, mm. some Ritz crackers in there, but I don't want to eat it with that. So good. But yeah, thank y'all for hanging out with me. Y'all know I'm the only girl in my house, so I get lonely sometimes. to do because they're boys they don't want to do nothing i want to do nothing <laughs> i just had to come back to tell y'all i was sitting here editing the video and i realized i didn't close it out the chicken salad came out really really good but I wanted to come back in, close out the video. If you haven't already subscribed, I hope you would consider subscribing to the channel. Click the thumbs up button. Leave a comment below. Again, I will shout you out if you leave a comment below. Let me know that you are here. I will see you guys on tomorrow's video. Don't forget, we are doing 31 days of vlog. Why do I want to keep saying vlogmas? I am rushing Christmas, okay? 31 days of Vlogtober. Vlogtober. All right, guys. I will see y'all tomorrow.